Comic Army. My name is Chris the Comic Vet. Hope this video finds you safe and well. Well, it's not necessarily a nice day here, but it's raining, and that's a lot better than snow, as I hate driving in snow. Anyways, it's about 8 degrees or 45 degrees Fahrenheit here in Cambridge, Ontario, Canada. I'm outside my comic shop, Retro Rocket Comics. It's time for new comic book day. Let's go see what's on my pull list. Okay, everyone, welcome to Inside Retro Rocket Comics. Let's take a look at the stuff that came out brand new today. I don't remember seeing this. It's a nice cover. So it looks like we have a crossover, Deadly Hands of Kung Fu, Spider-Man with Shang-Chi, The Gang War. Giant size superstars featuring the Fantastic Four. Secret Wars Battle War. Secret Wars Battle World, issue number two. She Hulk, number three. Predator vs. Wolverine, one of the best reads of the year. This fantastic cover of Ghost Rider 21. Looks like they've reprinted Wolverine from the limited series, issue number one. New Timeless. We have some new Star Wars titles. Dark Droids, issue number five. We also have a Gang War tie-in for Spider-Woman, issue number two. Let's take a look at some of the DC titles. New Flash. Batman Santa Claus, Silent Night, Alan Scott Green Lantern, The Green Arrow, Amazon's Attack, issue number three, Power Girl 4, Titans Beast World 3, and it looks like we have another reprint. The new Teen Titans issue number one, and I see a foil version right there. With the independence from the Energon universe, Duke is out. No one. Looks like we have some Void Rival reprints. Army of Darkness forever. It's a nice cover. All right, let's check out the pull list. Well, Comic Army, I hope you enjoyed that walking tour inside Retro Rocket Comics. My LCS, friend of my channel, friend of your channel, friend of everyone's channel across the YouTube comic community. Make sure that you give them a follow on, across their social medias. Now, let's begin with my new comic book day haul. And make sure you stick around till the end of the video to see what new books I've added to the Comic Army box giveaway. Let's start with the toss-ins. Chris from Retro Rocket Comics tossed in the Marvel 2024 calendar. I've taken a look. September is Hawkeye. My birth month. Meh. <laughs> he also tossed in Marvel the free previews featuring the Spectacular Spider-Men issue number one on the front cover. And it has the Peach Momoko cover for Ultimate X-Men on the back. And DC Connect, which features Batman 145 on the front. And an ad for the latest Aquaman movie. So my new comic book day haul is pretty light. Let's be honest, this is a light week. But as always, I try to start with the spider, the spider title, and this is issue 14 of Miles Morales' Spider-Man, featuring the Gang War crossover. Now, I've said it before, that I wasn't really expecting Gang War to be good, and it's been pretty good. However, I'm not going out of my way to collect all the tie-ins. I've just been picking up ones that are part of my normal pickups. The Amazing Spider-Man, Miles, and go from there. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but there's some sirens going on. 
Uh, oh, here comes an ambulance. So we're going to let this ambulance pass by. And now this big fire truck. What can I say? Things like this happen when you record inside your car. Uh, also from Marvel and 20th Century Studios. It's the very, very good and highly recommended issue number four of Predator vs. Wolverine. This has been fun. And not cheesy fun. It's been really, really good. Spread out over time with Wolverine at different points in his life. It's been very, very good. I highly recommend it. Now it's time for cover of the week. Cover of the week belongs to an independent. It's the Book of Butcher, issue number one. Now this square bound Virgin variant cup, uh, copy is not necessarily cheap. I believe it's $9.99 US. Just take a quick look. Yeah, but it is a tie-in to the Something is Killing the Children universe as we're getting a brand new storyline. And if you're a fan of my channel, you know that I really, really enjoy Something is Killing the Children and the world that it's set in by James Tynan IV. So this is Book of Butcher, issue number one, my cover of the week. It's just a gorgeous cover. Now let's carry on with the indies. A book that I've been looking forward to is Duke, issue number one. And I'm curious to see how they're going to tie this in to the Energon universe. So this is from Joshua Williamson, who's better known for being a DC writer, let's be honest, than an image writer, especially when it comes to the Energon universe. But Williamson has been very, very good. So I'm hoping that Duke carries on in that same light. World Tree is back with its latest volume. This is issue number six. Looking forward to get into this story. I really enjoyed the first arc. It's Jenny Frizen time. <laughs> this is the Frizen variant for Harley Quinn, issue number 35. And you'll notice that this is not my cover of the week. Now, as you all know, I am a fan of Jenny Frizen, and I usually pick up all our covers. But this one, I just, I don't know. It's just not my favorite. I don't know if it's the yellows or, or the... You know, the fact that she's constantly changing up the look of Harley Quinn. But eh, I just kind of thought the book, of Butcher, the book of Butcher was a better cover. Now, carrying on with DC. This is issue 1080 of Detective Comics. My favorite DC read of the year is Detective Comics. It's just been really, really good. Rom V has done an excellent story and i've been hanging on the entire time it's just been really really good i recommend this arc of detective comics now let's talk just a quick moment about the comic army box the comic army box is a giveaway that i do in appreciation to all the channel members it's given away the first wednesday of every month on my live stream show us what you got the new comic book day hangout by the way, that show is an open invitation for anyone to come on to show what brand new books that they've picked up for new comic book day or books that they picked up recently for their own PC. This month has a little bit of a Wonder Woman theme. There's two different slabs that's going to be tossed into the Comic Army box. And now Wonder Woman issue number one from the new 52. And Wonder Woman number one from the Rebirth branding that DC did a number of years ago. So two more Wonder Woman issue number ones are being tossed into the Comic Army box, which will be given away next week. Make sure that you're there. Make sure you consider joining the Comic Army. And while you're at it, please hit that like button. Make sure that you're subscribed. Go ahead, leave a comment. What did you think about my new comic book day haul? What books are you looking forward to reading? I try to respond to every comment that gets left on my channel. Till we see you again, Comic Army, take care.
channel memberships are now live. $4.99 monthly gives you the opportunity to win the Comic Army monthly prize pack, early access to videos, custom emojis for live streams and videos. Your Comic Army rank will be displayed beside your name for length of service. You get the ability to join the exclusive Instagram chat room for members and member shoutouts and spotlights. Join the Comic Army today.